Hello, and welcome to Goals of Misbehavior, Attention, a video brought to you by Michigan State University Extension Early Childhood Team. What is the purpose of misbehavior in young children? Understanding why a child misbehaves can help you make sense of their behavior and teach them useful ways to manage their feelings. This video will discuss attention-seeking behaviors and how to manage them. Why do children misbehave? Is it because they are being disobedient on purpose? Do they not know better? Are they not capable of following rules? Is it just to push your buttons? Are they pushing boundaries? Testing limits? Is it just fun? Sometimes when children misbehave, it feels personal, like your child is purposely doing something to you in order to make your life more difficult. In the hustle and bustle of family life, these acts of misconduct might feel like someone is adding fuel to the fire. Many parents do not understand what motivates their children to act this way. So why do children misbehave? Misbehavior is a method of communication, a child's way of reaching out. Adults have a lot of practice in decoding their own feelings and have the skills for many different ways of managing and expressing those feelings. Unlike adults, young children have limited communication skills because they have not had the time to perfect these skills. So instead of saying that they are lonely or bored, toys are thrown. The behavior is negative or undesired, but the reasons behind it are not. It's important to remember that negative behavior does not make your child bad. There's a difference between how your child behaves and their character. What they do is not who they are. Understanding why children misbehave can be a crucial step in positive discipline. Knowing a child's motivations will impact how you respond to them and impact if, when, and how the misbehavior occurs again. Just like it is important to recognize an infant's specific cues indicating hunger, tiredness, or overstimulation, it is important for parents and caregivers to recognize older children's cues. These cues, often shown through actions instead of words, will tell you how to meet their immediate needs and help teach them positive and effective ways of expressing themselves. There are four main goals of misbehavior from children. Attention, power, revenge, and inadequacy. In this video, we will focus on attention. The first goal of misbehavior is attention. When children seek attention through their behaviors, they might be feeling overlooked or insignificant. To avoid these feelings of hurt, they behave in a way to make sure they get noticed. They throw their toys, hit their brother, scream, or generally make life difficult. It's easy to quickly react to these situations by yelling or scolding a child. In doing that, we give them the attention they desire in an unconstructive way. While children, like adults, would prefer positive attention over negative attention, if it is the only attention they get from their parent, the child is likely to repeat or escalate their actions to continue getting that attention. If we find a way to give the child our attention in a positive, constructive way, everyone can get what they want. Try these tips from Michigan State University Extension to manage attention-seeking misbehavior. Make it positive. Instead of noticing your child's negative behavior, try pointing out something positive. Maybe in the midst of a conflict, you can mention how pleased you are that your child picked up all their blocks and tidied the playroom. Shift your child's focus and you can shift their behavior. In this case, a child gets the attention that they want but for a positive behavior that you can reinforce. Change the channel. Sometimes it is hard for children to shift their focus once they have set a goal, like attention. Try giving attention to your child for something completely unrelated. 
you could notice that their socks are on inside out. Point out a squirrel outside or ask them to remind you of the color of their eyes. If you shift their focus away from their negative behavior, then your child is getting the attention they desire in a positive way. Decode the message. Remember that when a child is misbehaving, they are trying to communicate something to you. Take a minute to see the situation from your child's point of view. It is easier to address issues in a calm and supportive manner when we understand where someone is coming from. Do a little sleuthing and look for clues that might tell you what your child is feeling. Ask yourself what their motivation could be. Are they tired? Hungry? Lonely? Bored? There may be simple things you can do to discourage or prevent misbehavior by making sure your child's needs are met. Maybe your child needs some space, a new activity, a change of scenery, or just some quality time with you. If you reframe your view of misbehavior as an opportunity to listen to, care for, and teach your child, you will be able to model and reinforce positive behavior patterns, strengthen your communication with your child, and increase the quality of your interaction. This article was published by Michigan State University Extension. For more information on child development, academic success, parenting, and life skill development, please visit the Michigan State University Extension website, msue.anr.msu.edu.